Welcome back to the last part of the review for whole word 19 when chords in the circle intersect. And so I saved the question six, the last one, uh, for its own because there's a lot going on here. And I want to make sure we had enough time to cover this and you know give you full attention. So a lot of stuff when chords intersect. We know that when two chords intersect, that the the product of the parts of the first chord is equal to the product of the parts of the second chord. When two chords intersect, the angle formed by the by the two chords intersecting is equal to one half the sum of the arc intercepted by the angle you're looking for, and it's vertical. So it's so it's almost the average of the two arcs that are involved with that angle that's vertical. So now we have another situation. So we're going to use some of the things we know and hopefully help us out. So it says here in circle. Well, circle below, diameter CD is perpendicular to chord AB, meaning forms a right angle. Uh, radii OB and OA are drawn. Okay, how can we prove that triangle OEB is common with triangle OEA? Well, first off, we know that OA is common to OB because that's given. Okay, all right, so we know here, and uh, let's see if I can. Let me type it into a smaller font. Okay. I'm going to change this font size to this. And so we know that OA, OA, oh, oops, wrong place. Uh, okay. Why is it reset itself? But okay. All right. You know what? I'm going to have to go with just a. Uh, I'm going to just have to write it by hand. So, okay. So, here we go. My, sorry for my poor handwriting. So, we know OA is congruent to OB. And that was given to us. All right. And then we also know <clears throat> that OE is a side in both those triangles. So, OE is congruent to OE, and that will be a reflex property, okay? Now, in case you weren't sure, reflexive property is going to be here. In this situation, a segment is congruent to itself, okay? A segment is congruent to itself. And if I can only get my... Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to try again. A segment is congruent to itself. I use a little congruent symbol here. There's a little symbol I can use and insert them here. Here we go. It's congruent to itself. Okay. All right. Great. And then we also know <coughs> that angle AEO. And angle BEO are right angles. Okay. And our reason to be perpendicular lines for right angles. I probably should put this separately though. No, I'm gonna pull this out here. I'm gonna uh, cut this out. And then I'm gonna paste it here. And make it smaller. Uh, I'm sort of being technical about this, ladies. I'm sorry. You know, I know you'll get to get to the answers, but uh, I feel in this case, you know, we'll make sure that we get all our reasons out here. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. So now that means triangle. I use a triangle symbol here. So triangle AEO. Okay, done here. 
Well, actually, triangle AEO is congruent to. Oh, sorry, not congruent. Actually, jump the gun. And triangle. And triangle. Let's copy that. Triangle BEO or right triangles. Okay. And again, in this case, we would say that it's a right triangle because if a triangle is a right triangle, it has a right angle, it's a right triangle. It's got to try and move things around. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I'm sort of, I'm, I, this is a proof. I'm actually doing a proof here, okay? And then you guys are like, rec recognize that, you know, I want to make sure that all, and when we do proof and all, that we have everything uh, written correctly. So I want to make sure we go with that. And so here, if a triangle if a triangle has a right angle then it is a right triangle okay so now we have this information. Now we know that both triangles are right triangles. Okay, so you say, okay, fine. We got right triangles. We got right triangles. Uh, we got OE card to uh, OE self and OA card to OB. Well, hey, we can now say that triangle, triangle OEB is congruent to triangle OEA triangle OEA because a hypotenuse leg is congruent to hypotenuse leg. The reasoning in this case of a if if a right the hypotenuse leg of one right triangle are congruent to hypotenuse leg of another right triangle, then two triangles are congruent. So the triangles are congruent. So what does it tell us about true about segments A, E, and E, B? Well, A, E, and E, B must be congruent. Okay, so they must be congruent. Congruent because corresponding sides of congruent triangles Are congruent. Okay, and so okay, so here's here's what it comes down to. All right, all this typing and stuff like that, all that work here. These segments are congruent. Now, what what are we getting at here, ladies and gentlemen? Well, the idea is this: in a circle, if a chord is perpendicular to a diameter, then the diameter bisects the chord and the arc intersected by the chord. So. If you know a chord forms a right angle with a with a radius or diameter. Okay, so here a uh, chord AB is perpendicular to CD, and this CD is a diameter. Okay, therefore that diameter will bisect the chord. In this case, AE will be bisected by AE will be common to BE. So now the diameter bisects the chord. The chord does not bisect the diameter, though. Okay, not only that. Okay, that the that the arc here, arc AC is congruent to arc BC as well, okay? So those those arcs are congruent as well too. So the arc intercepted by the chord will also be bisected by the diameter. Let's go back to the question though, okay? And so now there's a third part here. The diameter of OC is 20. So I'm gonna bring it back so you can see a little bit here. So OC is 20. Uh, diameter circle o of O is 20, sorry. And CE is four. So. So O is, tw uh, diameter is 20 and CE is four. So I'll make this four, oops. Let's use a different color. Uh, maybe I'll use red. Okay, that would mean in this case that the diameter is 20, this must mean that DE is going to be 16 because 16 plus four is 20. 
Okay, determine the length of AB. Well, we don't know what they are, but we do know AE and BE are both the same measure of congruent. So we are going to now use the following from before. We're going to do, in this case, uh, CE times ED is equal to AE times EB. And so what we have here is that CE we know is 4, ED is 16, and both AE and EB will be X. So we end up with 64 is equal to X squared, which means if you square both sides, you have X is equal to plus or minus 8, but we know that we cannot have, we cannot have, in this case, a negative value. Therefore, we will say AE is equal to 8, and EB is equal to 8. Add that together, AB must equal to 8 plus 8, or 16. Okay, and so we use our other form of before about the about the product of the pieces of the first chord um, equal to the product piece of the second chord when two chords intersect. Remember that a diameter is a is a chord. So I'm going to make this a full screen so you can see everything together. All right, it's kind of messy. All right, I know it's a lot of different parts here. I hope you kept able to keep uh, keep up with this. And you can see in this case is a very involved problem. Yeah, it was a proof involved, and we had to justify our answers uh, and give reasons for we give, always give reasons for our answers and all and then using our work here to solve for, for a problem okay i hope this was helpful to you guys i know the circle material can be a little challenging uh if you would like me to go over any other problems or some more examples please let me know i would mind uh trying out some more practice problems with you guys uh if you found this helpful any of you is helpful please you know make sure you add a like to them and uh just uh again leave comments and questions below all right, and as I said before, uh, if you are not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe and turn on, hit that bell for notifications. Let us know when uh, new videos are going to be added on. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this, and I hope this is helpful and clears some of the things up. Um, if you can, you have questions or would like to practice some more, you know, there's not no harm in practicing. Uh, just ask, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care. I will see you in the next video. Be safe.